In our first example, we're going to use a model for addition. Melissa has 50 blue beads, 20 red beads. How many beads does she have altogether? So in this model, we're going to model the 50 blue beads, and we're going to also model the 20 red beads. Our equation is 50 plus 20. Fifty plus twenty equals seventy. In this example, we're going to model for subtraction. Ben and Andy have ninety toy cars. Andy has sixty toy cars. How many toy cars does Ben have? Ninety toy cars altogether, and Andy has sixty toy cars. How many toy cars does Ben have? In this equation, we're going to model 90 minus 60 equals 30. In this example, we'll do a model for comparison. Mr. Simmons has 150 magazines and 110 books in his study. How many more magazines than books does he have? In our example, the magazines represent 150 in our box. The books are represented by 110. Our equation is we want to find out how many more magazines than books does he have. To set up our equation, we do 150 minus 110. That means he has 40 more magazines than books. Our next equation, we're going to model two items with a difference. A pair of shoes costs $109. A leather bag costs $241 more than the pair of shoes. How much is the leather bag? Our shoes are The leather bag costs $241 more than the pair of shoes. How much is the leather bag? In our equation, $109 for the shoes plus an additional $241 more for the, the bag cost than the shoes so the total is the leather bag is three hundred fifty dollars in this example we're going to do a model for multiples Mrs. Drew buys twelve apples she buys three times as many oranges as apples she also buys three times as many cherries as oranges how many pieces of fruit does she buy altogether? our apples represent twelve and she buys three times as many oranges as apples. So we'll represent that in a model. And she also buys three times as many cherries as oranges. So we'll represent that as three times the oranges. But we also want to represent that in terms of the apples that she purchased. So we will separate each of these into three. So our total here, we're trying to find out how many pieces of fruit does she buy altogether. We have a total of 13 blocks times 12. And 13 times 12 equals 156. She buys 156 pieces of fruit altogether. In this example, we're going to model multiples with differences. There are 15 students in a class. There are five more students in class B than in class A. There are three times as many students in class C than in class A. How many students are there altogether in the three classes? Class A, we have 15 students. Class B, we're going to represent five more students than in class A. In class C, we're going to represent three times as many students that are in class A. So our example, 
we want to resolve how many students are there in all three classes. We have 15 times 5 parts and then we're going to add an additional 5 for the class B. So 15 times 5 plus 5 equals 80. Our model in this example for creating a whole. Ellen, Giselle, and Brenda bake 111 muffins. Giselle bakes twice as many muffins as Brenda. Ellen bakes nine fewer muffins than Giselle. How many muffins does Ellen bake? In this example, we want to model Brenda first, and then we want to show that Giselle bakes twice as many muffins as Brenda. And Ellen, in this case, bakes nine fewer muffins than Giselle. So we represent nine fewer than Giselle. In this case, we want to know how many muffins does Ellen bake. So we have 111 muffins plus an additional nine to represent Ellen. 111 plus nine divided by five parts equals 24. So each part equals 24. Giselle in this case bakes two times 24 equals 48. But we know Ellen bakes nine less than what Giselle had. So 48 minus nine equals 39 muffins baked for Ellen. Next example, we're going to model fractions. George had 355 marbles. He lost one-fifth of the marbles and gave one-fourth the remaining marbles to his brother. How many marbles did he have left? In this example, we're going to show our legend here. He lost one-fifth of the marbles, so we will represent five here. One-fifth of those marbles were lost. He gave his brother one-fourth of the remaining marbles, and then we want to figure out how many marbles he had left. So in this example, 355 total marbles, and the R represents the portion of the marbles he had remaining. Five parts of 355, one part is going to equal 71. Three parts is three times 71 equals 213. In this example, we're going to model ratios. Aaron buys a tie and a belt. The prices of the tie and belt are in a ratio of 2 to 5. If both items cost $539, what is the price of the tie? What is the price of the belt? The tie in this example represents two parts. The belt in this case represents five parts. The total of those together is 539 so in this example, we have two parts tie to a ratio of five parts belt. So we have a total of seven parts. In this example, 539 divided by 7 equals 77. Two of those units are tie, so 2 times 77 equals 154. Five of those units are belts. 5 times 77 equals 385. In this example, we're going to model comparison of fractions. Jack's height is 2 thirds of Leslie's height. Leslie's height is 3 fourths the height of Lindsay's height. If Lindsay is 160 centimeters tall, find Jack's height and Leslie's height. So in this example, we're going to first model Lindsay. Lindsay is 160 centimeters. 
and she's four parts equals a whole. Leslie's going to be three fourths, so we will model three fourths of Lindsay's height for Leslie, and Jack is going to be two thirds of Leslie's height. So in this case, we want to find Jack's height and Leslie's height. One unit in this case equals 40 centimeters. If we take Lindsay's height and divide it into four, Leslie's height is going to be three of those units, so three times 40 equals 120 centimeters. Jack's height is two units, so two times 40 equals 80 centimeters.